I'm at Kew Gardens, which is an unlikely place to come to look at watches, but if I tell you that I'm here with Vacheron Constantin to look at the Florilège watches, then it all begins to make sense. And this is because these watches have been inspired by the work of Robert Thornton. Now, Robert Thornton was a medical botanist and he was also a publisher, and he is behind the book, The Temple of Flora, which was published in 1799, which was one of the most lavish botanical books of its time. And the artists at Vacheron Constantin looked at the book and were inspired by three of the different illustrations to create these watches. And Vacheron Constantin has a tradition of creating a collection of watches every year that are called the Métier d'Art. And what these watches do is they express a more artistic side to watchmaking by using the dial as quite literally a work of art. I'm with Chris Mills, who is the head of Library Art and Archives at Kew Gardens. Can you tell me uh, who Robert Thornton was and the symbolism and importance of this book? Yes. He was a gentleman in the 18th century who um, practised what he referred to as medical botany, uh, but he was also much more than that, as this book testifies, because he was also a publisher, an entrepreneur, and, uh, yeah. yes, and and also a, a, an author in his own right. Uh, this is just one, be it the most famous, of about nine books that he actually wrote during his lifetime, and um, this just happens to be the most famous and probably famous particularly because it has such exotic large colour plates in it. Typically of the time you would have a book and if you had pages in it or plates of illustration you would pay uh, half a guinea uncoloured, a guinea coloured. This one probably would have been three or four times as costly as that to do so you did have to be quite wealthy in order to afford this. Decorating watch dials with enamel is something of a dying art, but companies like Vacheron Constantin are making sure that this tradition carries on. Often machinery, maybe 50, 60, sometimes hundreds of years old, is preserved so that these crafts can still carry on, and of course the training of those men and women who have the patience and the skill to create these miniature masterpieces.